I'm Jesse Crastiel. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I work with Panorama Orthopedics and Spine, and I focus on hip and knee replacement. I want to talk a little bit about hip replacement. So when you're talking to your orthopedic surgeon or if you're at your primary care physician's office, the first uh, imaging modality you'll likely get if you have hip arthritis is a, is a radiograph or an x-ray. When you're looking at your x-ray, what you'll often see is on the left hip here, you'll see the femoral head, you'll see the cup or the acetabulum, and you'll see a space in between the two. The space in between the two signifies cartilage. Cartilage is good, cartilage is friend, because cartilage helps uh, protect the bone as well as allows you to walk normally. On the right hip here, you'll see the femoral head, you'll see the cup or the acetabulum, but you'll see a lack of cartilage. That lack of cartilage is the osteoarthritis. Now, when we start talking about uh, osteoarthritis, as well as uh, especially severe osteoarthritis, you have three options. You either live with it and carry on, you try non-operative modalities such as uh, prescription uh, or over-the-counter anti-inflammatories, steroid injections, physical therapy. If those no longer help and your daily activity is limited, then we start talking about hip replacement surgery, which is what I want to talk about today. Hip replacement itself uh, involves removing the arthritic bone. What I do is I do an anterior hip replacement, which is a minimally invasive way to replace a hip. It's called a muscle sparing approach. I actually go in between the muscles that extend the leg and the muscles that adduct, abduct the leg or bring the leg out to the side. After I uh, make my incision and go between those muscles without cutting anything, I go in and I actually remove this portion of femoral neck and head. And so that bone on bone articulation goes away because I've removed that portion of head and neck. After I've removed that portion of head and neck, this femur bone is hollow. And so I'll take a titanium stem just like this one, and it actually goes down inside the femoral canal. The shiny part and the pink part replace what I've now removed. I'll take a titanium cup and it goes into the pelvis. It's lined by a very fancy plastic liner which functions like your new cartilage. Basically that is you walking down the hall the same day. This can be done as an inpatient or outpatient procedure depending on how you're doing as well as medical comorbidities. I hope that answers any questions you might have about hip replacement surgery. If you would like to see me for a consult, please visit our website or contact our office.